Uh, my name's Lee. Randall. And I'm Jerry. We're building an aileron for the B-17. This long center piece is the main spar. These, these are the ribs, the leading edge ribs and the trailing edge ribs that were made locally. Um, this is a skin that, again, is made locally. Uh, and when you say locally, you mean here in the here, museum? Here in the uh, hangar, yes. Yeah. And, uh, the, uh, the ribs are held temporarily held onto the spar with uh, clecos to keep everything in alignment. Now the leading edge, the nose of the aileron, is covered with sheet metal called a skin. And just this morning we shaped this one. which will be riveted to the aileron. The part behind the spar is covered with fabric. Mm -hmm. This part will also they, be fabric. These are the, there are four hinge points where the aileron is attached to the wing. And at each hinge point, there's a separate section of skin. Mm-hmm. Now, how did you fabricate these uh, these pieces here? Some of these were made by a tool company with steel dies, and most of the nose ribs were made locally with uh, or by by volunteers with uh, wooden forms and pressed or hammered in, into mm -hmm. shape. Mm -hmm. And now, how did you form the uh, holes? both in the nose ribs and in the spar there? Uh, the holes are cut out with a tool called a fly cutter and there's a flange pressed in with a, uh, a an aluminum die. We do that on a hydraulic press. Mm -hmm. Okay.